All right, so all the other eggs have hatched that seem to have any life. So I just checked what was left in the incubator and this one is making noise and it was pitched. So I just peeled back a little bit of the shell just now. Um, because I had opened the incubator earlier to take the other chicks out and this one has pipped. Um, it's got a dried membrane there. You can see that white. Um, I actually had to break it just a little bit so that it could breathe. You may be able to hear the baby. Very quiet sheeping in there. is because this poor little membrane has dried out. You, know, you can see the little, little chick in there. Hmm. Having a hard time getting this in the gear. Alright, so typically the chick would break open here and then it would have the ability to move and just kind of keep breaking through this membrane here and as it would push through this membrane it would cut a little line around this entire eggshell so that essentially this whole end would be peeled off like a can opener did it yeah this is pretty dry Oh. Hopefully I can save this little chick. Oh, that's a good piece. So I'm just kind of helping it. Yeah, the shell is really hard because of the lack of humidity from me opening the incubator earlier and taking all those chicks out. And then again, when I opened it to check all these because, you know, it's been 24, it's been about 36 hours since chicks started hatching yesterday. So, the part where I've ripped the membrane, you can see there is a second membrane in there. This outer membrane is a little tougher. Oh, see, that is what I was afraid of. I don't, you can see that little bit of blood when I punctured that inner membrane? That chick still needs to work on absorbing that blood. So, I'm going to be very, very careful not to chip that membrane again. And what I'll do is I will help it at least get the shell off and get the inner membrane opened up a little bit more. And I will leave that inner, inner membrane. Gosh. I'll leave the inner membrane, but I will put a warm, wet paper towel inside the incubator hopefully bump up that humidity enough to keep that inner membrane from shrink wrapping it any further. There you are, baby. At least you have a little hole to breathe from. I mean, this is, this is hard from the outside of the egg. Imagine being inside the egg and trying to break through two membranes that are kind of shrink wrapped around you and this hard calcium shell. 
so you see I've got a good portion of it. There's that little bit of blood where I pierced the inner membrane accidentally. Um, it's not too bad. They'll be able to draw up that blood easily. I still hate doing it though. It makes me feel awful to think that I've caused them any harm. Yeah, this shell is really dry and it becomes harder to easily peel away when it is very dry. So that's unfortunate. But the other chicks had been in the incubator a while. It needed They needed to come out. All right, so we're getting really close here. Once I get this, yeah, you can see uh, there's a little bit of moisture in that inner membrane. You can kind of see where it's a little bit darker here, but this part is, it's dry. So. All right, so. Now I've at least gotten this hard outer shell off. And peel back this, this inner membrane a little bit more so that they can breathe a little better. And again, try not to damage that inner membrane. Hey baby, I hear you, I know. You want to be born, don't you? Oh, gosh. Sorry, I'm not doing a very good job videoing. I'm just worried about this baby. There you go, darling. All right. So, I've successfully peeled more of that outer membrane away the inner membrane sorry you can't see so you can see here that's the inner membrane the outer membrane um, the inner membrane if i can get her back into the incubator with some more humidity she will probably be able to get out of that pretty easily on her own i just want to peel this outer membrane away a little bit more well you know what i'm gonna go ahead and take that whole thing off for her you can see down there where I accidentally punctured that membrane. That's so sad. But see, that's it's very dry, very, very dry. And that chick can be shrink wrapped and be unable to move. I don't want to mess with this too much because it still has blood vessels that are nourishing her. Oh, okay, baby. See, there I got it again. You have to be so careful. I'm sorry about that baby. So I'm gonna put her back in the incubator with a warm, wet paper towel to keep that humidity and moisture in. Let her have some time to absorb that blood into her system. And then I will come back and see if she needs intervention again in an hour or so. All right, bye bye baby.